Good evening, Carla. Let's see. You may start Teacher. the class. Hi. Teacher. Hey. I have a problem with the exercise two with two answers. Two answers. Two answers. Really? Two answers. 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 Let's see. I had the, um, yeah, I have the platform already open. Hold on. How, how's it going? All good? Has it rained in San Miguel, Carla? No, no. No? Hot? Really? A long time? No rain? No, no rain. No rain at all. Okay. Wow. I have turned off the, I, I forgot the, uh, uh, the fun, but I am sudando, como se dice. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> it's terrible, the, the hat. The heat. The heat. Don't forget it. The heat is on. The heat is on. Oh my God. I'm sorry. The website is a little bit slow. It's a one to load. What do you do when, when it is too hot? Do you go to your room and that's it? What? What do you do when it is too hot? When the weather is too hot? Mm. In the office, in the in the office, we have a conditioner. In my room too. Mm. But in the living room, don't have a condition. The living the living room doesn't have AC. That's easy. Okay. Living room doesn't have AC. Okay, so this is uh, section two. Let's see what exercise 2.2. Uh, I, I, I found it. You found the what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm presenting the, the website, the platform. You see it, Carla? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so. Yes, I can see, but it is. So let's do it if you want. Okay, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember, you must have 
uh, this yes. uh, concluded by this coming what Thursday? Yeah, by Thursday evening. Please try to have it done. Okay, so let's go with the first one. There are problems with the children. There are problems with the parents, with their parents. No, it is not. Isn't it two, only... two point two? Mm, no. Let Let's go through them. Uh, or do you have problems with two point five? No, this is not filling the blank. No, two, two, two point one. But I don't remember what is sentences. Okay, let uh, Let's review them. Let's review them. The first one. What What will it be, everybody? Daniel. All right. Okay, they are not only there are problems with the children. There so are you, no only problems. There are no not only problems. So as a subject we have there are problems not only with the children. Okay. But also with the parents, with their parents but also with their parents. And don't forget the period. So again, there are problems not only with the children, but also with their parents. I could, I could say, but also their parents without the with. Okay. Next, she writes plays for television. She acts in movies. She not only writes mm -hmm. plays for television. Good. She not only writes plays for Wait. television. Uh huh. But also. Acts in movies. Good job. It is with number four. She okay. was upset. She was angry. Angry, angry. Okay, we we are getting there. We're about to do that one. Number three. I sent him many letters. I also try to telephone him. I not only sent him many letters, but also. Try to telephone. Tele, I'm sorry. Te te telephone him. Hey. Him. But also try to telephone him. Try to try to telephone him. Okay, this one. I think is she was not only upset. She was not only. Mm -hmm. It's the opposite. But I try in this way. In... Maybe the period. <clears throat> she not only was upset, but also angry. When you have adjectives, remember we saw that? That not only is still before the verb, she not only was upset. Actually, it's the same thing. Look, I not only sent him. There are problems. This is, uh, I explained you that this was a, a phrasal noun. Uh huh. This was a sentence noun or, or phrase noun. There are problems, and that's my subject. Okay, not only with, okay, and here she was upset. So she not only was upset, and again, the point is not to repeat the verb in this example was. We, we'll see the answers. We'll see the answers right now. Number five, everybody, Ruth, Joma, Nelson. I saw the Adri as well for here around here. Jamie, good evening. Okay. But teacher, I try yep. uh, I try 
in this way, she not only was upset and, and is always is wrong. Let's see. Let me see if it gives us an error. Okay. The next yeah. one could be they not only need food but also medicine. But also medicine. Okay. Rewrite the sentences again using neither nor. Okay. He cannot speak English. He cannot write English. I think we did these examples on, on the class. He cannot speak English. He cannot write English. You should neither meet him, meet him nor talk to him. Okay, let me do that first. You should neither. You should neither, neither meet him. Meet him. Neither. Okay, neither him. meet him. Him nor neither meet him nor talk to him. To him, him. To him, him, mm -hmm. him. <laughs> him, him, him. <laughs> okay, him, you should him. neither meet him nor talk to him. Okay, vamos a ver. Uh, who helps me with? He cannot speak English. He cannot write English. We practice he this. He can about. neither. Uh huh. He can neither. Speak English? No. Uh huh. Nor write English. Okay. And the second is, wait, is wait. wrong for me. We can delete this. We should delete this. Speak nor write English. She can neither speak nor write English. We could do the opposite too. She can either speak English nor write it, but it sounds redundant. Okay, the second, he did not eat the cake himself. He did not let others eat it. This We did these examples. Uh-huh. He neither ate the cake. Excellent, yes. He neither ate the cake, uh -huh. cake himself. Himself, nor let others eat it. Nor, nor, you know what? Let others eat it. Uh, Hmm. I'm gonna do it the way the website expects you to do it, but this is wrong for me. This is wrong, but I mean, it's someone. Okay, it, this is right. I mean, así como esta acá está bien. Okay, nor not let others eat it. But the website, uh, the the platform expects you to use allow. I, I did. I did it in this way. Yeah. Others to eat it. Mm -hmm. That's what the website is expecting. Allowed others to eat it. We'll see. Okay, we did you should. Next, um, Adriana, Jamie, Ruth, Samantha. Oh my God, guys. She is not beautiful. She's not intelligent. <laughs> She is neither beautiful. <laughs> She's neither beautiful. Not intelligent. Nor, nor intelligent. Uh -huh, nor intelligent. Okay. Intelligent. And the last one. James did not pass the test. Peter did not pass the test. Neither James nor Peter nor Peter pass the test. Exactly. Neither James nor Peter passed. Look at this. 
passed the test. If you remember, I taught you, you can use passed this way or passed the other way, P-A-S-T. That's it. Oh, haha. Oh, I missed the is the verb to be. Sorry. She is neither beautiful nor intelligent. I missed the verb to be. There you go. Oh, what happened here? She was upset. She was angry. She not only was upset. Let's see. Not only, okay. She not only was upset, but also angry. And we said she was not only. No, she not only was upset, but also okay, angry. Oh, okay, plataforma. Look. Miss Pell. Pongan aslo, no, also. This is a misspelling mistake. Okay. Uh the decía que cuando ocupamos adjetivos para describir usualmente va a ir antes del verbo to be el not only y el but also antes del adjetivo el but also antes del adjetivo y el not only antes del verbo to be si sí se puede de la otra forma aunque es informal okay. teacher pero a mí me salió bien así she is neither beautiful nor no estábamos nor con, con arriba she not only right she not only Estamos con she not only. Uh, no, eso estaba bien. She is neither beautiful nor intelligent. She is neither beautiful nor intelligent. Ella es ni bonita ni inteligente. Es decir, ella no es ni bonita ni inteligente. Okay. That's exercise 2.2. You have all the teacher, teacher, teacher. Yes. <laughs> eh, la número tres a, a la número. Quiero ver. Sí, la tres no me da ni bien. Ahí donde se le puso low. I sent him many letters. Esta, Carla, I sent him many letters. Mm. O la tres de no, abajo. No. You should. Carlita. La dos. La dos. He neither ate the cake or she not only writes plays. Es que no se le toque algo a una y ya me salen mal dos. <laughs> ah, bueno. Pero no se preocupen. Bueno, la el... número dos, ¿cómo es? Number two, the not only but also she not only writes plays or television no, not, not only but also I have a problem with number four she was upset she was angry okay she not only was upset but y aquí hay un error en la plataforma es A-S-L-O no es also ah. está, está mal escrito en la plataforma la respuesta Sorry. Okay. She not only was upset, but also. Por eso que no sabe salir a bien. Sí, no, no le va a salir bien hasta que lo pongan mal yeah. eso. Okay. Number two, teacher. Sí, I'm sorry. Right place for television. But okay. Also... But also acts in movies. Acts in ah, television. Yep. Okay. It's 820 already. Hold on one minute, please. Turn on your camera. Adriana Jose Serna Durán. Present. Thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present, teacher. Erika Jasmin Martinez Carpio. Where's Erika? No, Erika tonight. Oh, yes, there she is. Okay. Fatima Denise Aguilar Marquez. Present teacher. Where are you, Fatima? Oh, I see you. Okay. Thank you. Hector Francisco Morales Rico. 
Hector is not here tonight. Ivan Petrovic Guzman Aquino. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Joelman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Okay. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present. Thank you. Lucy Nathalie Juárez de Ramírez. She's with us. She's among us. Nelson Antonio Herodas Rosales. Present. Thank you. Ruth Isela Joaquin Flores. Present. Excellent. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. And Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemus. Present. Yay. Okay. So, what's in it tonight? Uh, or, I'm sorry, Danielle, you had a question with the platform? Are we cool? Yes, I have only eight. Eight, eight uh, partially correct. But I, 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 I will. Uh, Review tomorrow. Okay. I will, I will see the, the, the video of this class tomorrow. For <laughs> right. I so, think it's a, a space, a one letter. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe just a spelling. Hey, yesterday, yeah. um, um, there was a group missing yesterday, right? To come to the front. Adriana, was it your group? Yes. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Let's do that first so we can start the class again. Whenever you're ready, Adriana and your team, thank you. Okay. Let me share the, the screen. Just let me know when you can see it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. You can see the the slider, slide. <laughs> okay, okay. Yep. So, um, wait a minute. Um, wait a minute. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have this um imaginary um Im how do you say is it not imaginary? This. Imaginary set or, yeah. Imaginary set. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have a market niche is digital marketing, and we have a specific service, and this is web design. So we have a prospect client, and we have a company that is B two B. So that means that we we all serve and just uh, focus on other companies, business to business. So we have the employee profile, we have different roles in the, our company. Uh, we have account managers and DC who manage the relationship with customers. So they have to be in front of the project and manage the relationship and all the and talk with the clients and content managers who create and organize the content. So that means they, they write all the text and, and things like that. We have UX UI designers who create digital products like web websites and landing page. And the front end, the, the Landing page, <laughs> a front end developers who called a, the design and are on the web. So we have these these types of roles in, on our company, but we we're gonna focus just in to uh, for this example of training. And we have the UI designer and front end developers. So we have an imaginary context context and and we have two issues the first one uh, in our company we have to to choose a software for the 
designers and for developers. And, at, and in this moment, we use Adobe XD. And this is a software for designers. And, but this has a cost. So we want to introduce a new uh, software. And this is Figma. And this have the advantage uh, that is if it's free. <laughs> so we need uh, what we need to uh, do the old workflows start to to uh, use that uh, software. We need to train it, uh, train, train them about this. And we have other issues. We have problems with the resp responsive uh, design about the mobile versions. When, the, for example, we have a, a little example, imaginary example. <laughs> uh, we have a bad uh, design where the, the font is too small, so the clients it doesn't, it don't, can read can read the, the text and the margins are too big. For for example, we have a, a big space between the the borders and that's that kind of, of a problem. So what with what is our training proposal? Uh, we have in this context a remote remote work. So the we uh, choose the online training and what kind of topic, topics we have to to take uh, good practices uh, on designing, designing mobile interfaces and about responsive design and about the, the software Figma. So uh, we we choose uh, to to um, do the license of of a platform who is Platzi. If Platzi is like a um like a repertorio. A say? gallery, a gallery. Ah okay, a gallery of different um a course about courses uh, courses about the different um topics, areas and and that. And when they can take these courses. Uh, the license will be valid for three months, and they have to try to self management of time. So they have to administrate their own time during the week. So if they they don't have a, a busy uh, work, Schedule. they can they can um take a an hour, for example, for for trying to to see and the the course and during the week. So that is our training purpose for that issues. And that is. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Okay. Okay, good job. Actually, great, great. That that was really awesome. Um let me check if everybody was paying attention. So everybody, what was the topic yesterday? What was the presentation about? What was the purpose of this presentation? What kind of like what type of training uh, will be new or new in the 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 office? Select the best option, right, for training. Thank you, Daniel. Good. This was a very interesting presentation, Adriana. I I felt like I was in a training actually, <laughs> and, and you enlightened me. Do you know about? apps design um i like well i um i like the design so the in the company they give they gave me the opportunity to collaborate in 
design projects about UX UI and and but apps no <laughs> just uh, like web uh, websites mm, yes but just in like landing page landing pages is like just a land a page mm. in the site in the site but is it, they don't have like menu because the purpose of a landing page is you uh, like a uh, a user give your uh, information in a form mm -hmm. so this this is the purpose of of the of, of the landing page yes mm -hmm. so you can you can be as creative as you want add whatever you want yes but try to not saturate of information and in of course uh, the, the user <laughs> if i create a website like that can i upload a lot of videos short mm, videos maybe mm, but uh, the best way to this is just one and for example if you want to for example, we have a landing page when we have to attract um, clients. So we have a, for a, a video about our um, CEO <laughs> who is talk about our service. And then the people who want a service of, from us uh, just can um, reenter. Reiner. Uh, fill out fill out a uh, form and give us their their information and so that's the way we can um, contact the people please send me more information oh, okay okay <laughs> oh, really <laughs> really i will need it i will need it very soon thank you okay let's give some feedback we choose we chose uh-huh we chose this design, we chose this, this. Uh-huh. Not not choose. Right? Seleccionamos. Elegimos, right? The pronunciation. Cuando les ponga algo en mayúscula de pronunciación. Oye, no es que les estoy gritando, okay? So you say license. License. Not license. License. And be careful. If you say course, everybody, if you say course, is maldición, right? Be careful. It's course, courses. This courses, courses. And you can say, of course, of course, of course, not course. Okay. Good job. Man, that was, I, I really loved that presentation. That was very well done. Thank you. I actually Googled the Figma. It's a collaborative. It's this is the trend. Is this the trend right now, Adrian? I see you are in technology. The trend yes. is to collaborate. Yes, yes. We have other we we use other platforms like Miro. Oh, I other... love Miro. I wish we could use <laughs> Miro here, you know, but yes. not, not everybody is on, on a computer, I guess. Man, yeah. <laughs> I got you, me, Miro, and and there's another one. The well, Miro is better than the Google uh, whiteboard, right? The the Jam, Jamboard. Um, yes, what do you? Yes. It's better than Jamboard, I think. Miro. I I use uh genially. Genially, no, I think that I can. I. It's actually genial that l y. Genially, that's what I'm using um, uh, to create presentations. Mm -hmm. But I, I didn't like it. You didn't like it? No. You, you can, well, I'll send you a presentation and you give me ideas, okay? You, you tell me, hey, I like this or no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. it's, it's too saturated. I, I really need feedback. Uh, I think you can help me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, uh, so let's move on with tonight. I have a little presentation. Uh, tonight, we have to talk about, I forgot the topic. Just a minute. Oh, here's the presentation. We have talked about different training options, about 
becoming better in your job, you know, about CDP, if you remember, continuous development programs, uh huh, continuous developing program, I think it was the continuous program developing, yeah, to continue developing yourself, right, as an employee or your company helping you to continue developing yourself. That was like the main topic, and that's the whole topic from units one and two, if I'm not mistaken. So far, so, but talking about projects, as Adriana was mentioning, I have mentioned this as well with you, I believe. Sorry if I say I mentioned something and it wasn't with you, it wasn't with another group, maybe. I'm sorry, I'm old. So, um, when you execute any program the stages are very important the, not just the planning the execution but also um, something that most project managers leave at the end which is analyzing studying the effects of the project so the same thing happened with trainings Later on, after the training is concluded and employees have been trained, um, the training, the trainers, I should say, forget about it. You know, they just let the employee jump into it and they throw you to the water so you can swim. But the problem is that there is no a follow up. They don't continue, continuously watch over you. They don't pursue the goal, which should be determine if the training was effective or not. And that's what we're going to talk about today, the different measurements, different ways of measuring the effectiveness of a training. Going back to the projects, I wanted to mention, and Carla is not going to let me lie on this, but something that i wish people will understand or project management managers project managers will understand is that if you develop a, a project you should you should and you must but nobody does it i haven't seen a project like that i hope they do it at least on the government when they are building a street for example a road they should evaluate they should perform um, how can I say this? They should perform a test, check uh, the effects of that stage. So when you do the planning, part of the um, steps should be checked, checked, checked on every stage of the project, not just at the end. <laughs> See, why am I telling you this? I'm rebuilding my vehicle, right? I'm restoring a 1978 vehicle. It's very old. So I'm going part by part. And when it, it happened to me, when I changed the engine, I changed the engine from a 1,100 um, engine, you know, 1.1 engine. I went to a 1.8 engine. So I went step by step. I was tagging. I'm obsessed sometimes with organization. So I put tiro, you know, scotch on every piece that I was removing. Right? And name it. Put a name on it. Okay. But even, even I was doing that, even though I did that, when I put everything together and I turned on the, the, the engine, didn't turn on. I was like, oh, oops. And then my son came and said, Daddy, what is this? And I was like, oh, my God, really? <laughs> I had to put everything apart, put that piece, and he turned on. And I was like, yes, it worked. Man, but there's a lot of satisfaction, and I realized, even if you check step by step, you may find failure. You may find a problem that you didn't for a C. Makes sense, right? Right? Has that happened to you, Carla, or anybody that you're working on something, you finish, and you think you are done, and you're, 
<sighs> it's over. I finish. And then, oops. I... Uh, I have been in a project with I was uh, working with uh, with a uh, uh, Italian architect, and we was designing a hospital, a hospital, and and then uh, he finished the design and he forgot to put the, uh, I, I don't know how to say, uh, hay un hueco donde van todas las tuberías. Uh, like a receiving box, a receiver box? Mm, es como un vano. No sé cómo decir. Ah, un vano, ajá. Hay un vano a donde van todas las tuberías y se le olvidó poner ese vano. Entonces, al final, hay que redistribuir para poner eso. O sea, siempre, siempre, se, aunque siempre hay cosas que se olvidan, como dice. Pero ya cuando se construye, se arregla. <laughs> yes, but that's worst. Because sometimes you have to crack everything again and oh my god. That's so crazy. Bano, a plumbing bano. Oh, sometimes oh, sometimes some yes, uh, sometimes it's difficult with the engineer because when I when we we are designing something like a building and if we how to uh, we have to um, no sé cómo decirlo en español <laughs> tenemos que, que adaptarnos a por ejemplo si los ingenieros lo que quieren poner ellos columnas y nosotros lo queremos columnas en paso grande entonces ahí siempre hay esas Esa diferencia que a veces ya está el diseño y ellos llegan a poner columna ahí en medio. Entonces, aunque se lleve eso paso a paso, siempre hay diferencias en, eso, en esas cuestiones de proyecto, porque es un, una cosa, es algo integral. Uh -huh. You can continue in English. I know you can do it. <laughs> yes, you have to adapt yourselves to others' point of view to others point of view it is yeah. i have to adapt at the design to others yes to the others design to their opinions or at least include them include them on on the final decisions right especially on planning i mean it's the same if you put an architect with an engineer who else and and the uh, planning manager, you know, they're together working, that's difficult. But it's good as well. Collaborate. There are, there are many areas, for example, civil engineer, hydraulic engineer, electric engineer, structural engineer. Only mother of God. In the act, in the act. But, but there's a career, difficult. there's people there's people who is specialized in all of this, right? There, there, there are people who are, you know, one person, one person knows about all of this. I'm asking you because my brother lives in Tampa, in Florida, and he's a welder. Well, he's a, a supervisor of welders now, but he's constantly hiring people for going welding all around the states and he never finds anybody but there he taught me that there are people who specialized on fitting you know sizes measurements creating parts plumbery electricity i mean they do all of that one person is in, is specialized on doing all of that at once so that's 
that's an integral, an integral employee, right? They make a lot of money. Yes, it, it should be the architect that uh, in, uh, in, say, integrate all. The knowledgeable one. Yeah, this is a difficult one. Right. The no legible one. It's the architect that should be the knowledgeable one. The knowledgeable, knowledgeable one. Knowledgeable. Yeah. Knowledgeable. <laughs> you should be, it's like you're, you're talking and you say, you should be the knowledgeable one, not me. Tú deberías de ser el conocedor. Tú deberías de ser el conocedor. Right? It's like, you should know all of this. Okay. Nice chip chat. Good job. Can I, can I do a question to Carla? <laughs> yes, Jamie. Yes. Where do you work, Carla? In, in... Do you need employees? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> in, in... Uh, I am I am Hello? architect and now I am uh, and no I am working now in the super supervision supervision of the bypass San Miguel of the construction oh. of bypass San Miguel. You you have you have work in streets build a, in construction of streets. No, I have I have worked in towns, in streets, in bright in streets, twenty streets, bridges, in, uh -huh. in buildings, buildings, in buildings, in, in, in a lot of projects of this, in engineers or. But but what's your favorite? What's your favorite? My favorite is, is the building because it's my area. Area, area. <laughs> really? But area, but but uh, most of the time I work in civil civil construction civil projects. Civil projects. Civil projects. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And, and now I am working like, and now now I am right and now I am working as administrator of projects in in this in but, area complete. But business. you were in a governmental government or, uh, government. In, gov you were in a government or a private company? Private. So, do you work for the government or for a private company? Uh -huh. For a private private company, a Japanese company, but the company work for the government for yes. uh, it's high. Uh -huh. mm. Yes, it's high. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> interesting yes oh my god man but all eyes are on the Choros road right everybody's like please build that build that really quick you know I'm not an architect I'm not well I'm sort of an engineer but when I see these people throwing concrete on that uh Land, that big wall of uh, debris, not even, I cannot say earth, hold on, um, soil, that's a big wall of soil, you know, and I see these guys cutting the trees, preparing the wall, because they are going to throw concrete again, that's not going to stop the, you know, the fluids, because that, that area, is fulfilled with water, right, Carla? It's, it's full of water underneath the earth, so they cannot stop it. I think they should put some dynamite, you know, and 
just bring all that yeah. down. That's really dangerous. And it's has it has been like that for many years. But nobody wanted to do what we're about to do. Okay. So let me do the presentation. Um so we can move on with tonight's topic. Okay, so how to measure, this is the topic for tonight, how to measure the effects of training programs as we have done on this little introduction. Um, let's talk about some secrets to effectively measure the impact of training programs the importance of evaluating, as I was telling you, and how to overcome challenges. What challenges? <sighs> there are so many challenges and trainings, you know, and the longer the training, the more challenges you will find. The, the main challenge you will always have with any training is, uh, I'm sorry, don't feel bad, but it's true. Dealing with people is difficult. I'm telling you as a teacher, I have had classes of over 30 students here virtual, virtually. And how can I control a, a class of 30 people, you know? I cannot, I don't know if Carla is, is sleeping or Jamie, you know, because their camera is off. I don't know if Erica is, is sleeping right now or Ruth. I don't have a way to 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 tell, right? That's a challenge. If people don't participate, you know, you virtually you don't have a control. You don't have control of this. So that's the main negative, if, um, the main negative uh, issue with virtual conferences, with virtual trainings. You don't have control among this and many other things. So we will see that. What is the importance of measuring training programs? Uh, the effects that those have on the employees. As we talked about this before, what, what was ROI, who remembers? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Return of investment, right? So optimizing the return of investment, because in the end, as I explained before, when you train um, your employees, it's an investment that you're doing as as company, as the owner of the company. Give me just one second, please. I'm sorry. Sorry. So I was saying, uh, return of investment, you first always focus on money in reality, in the real world. That's how the real world works. That's how the real world works. This is a common saying from Americans. That's how the real world works. Money, money moves the world. Is that right, Daniel? You think money moves the the world? Mm, so so. <laughs> so oh, don't say so so. Come on. Kind yeah. of. Don't say so so. Ya les expliqué okay. por qué no me gusta esas palabras de so so. No. 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 She was like, what's my name? So, so, teacher. So, so. No, que cuál es su nombre? <laughs> Estoy preguntando. Oh, teacher. Ah, me otra pregunta. Okay. How old are you? So, 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 teacher. So, so. I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Man, I stood with her one month, and I, I couldn't move on with her. It was my first class. I was learning. So, I was traumatized with so, so. Okay. What can I say? What can I say? Say sort yeah. of. Sort, sort of, of. Or kind of. Kind of. Yeah, instead of so-so. Sort of. And the last resource, you can say more or less. 
more or less. Okay. <laughs> That's the last thing you can say. Okay. I remember. Okay. I, uh, I try to remember. <laughs> okay. Good. That's how the real world works. Money moves everything. So you base the, your decisions, your company decisions, money wise. You like that? Money wise. So you have to think all the time money wise. Okay. If you are the owner, and even if you are not the owner, but you are managing a project, then you you own it. You become the owner of the project. It's your money. And the more you focused on that fact, the better things will go. So the first thing you make sure is return of investment. Optimize it. This is why it is important to measure the effects of the training. Was it effective? Okay. <laughs> To ensure you're being, um, the resources are being utilized effectively, maximizing return of investment. So definitely, if you assure that the investment was good with the results of the training, then yes, you have to prove it. You must prove it. Improve training programs. Identify strengths and weaknesses of programs for continuous, continuous. I'm sorry, improvement and better learning outcomes. Um. This is a crucial part. Do you remember uh, the SWOT analysis? Kind of. What was the acronym? What was this acronym, the SWOT analysis? Strengths. Yeah, good. Uh -huh. Strengths. Weaknesses. Opportunities. I, I missed the end. Wait. Strengths. <laughs> Weaknesses, opportunities, op, op, opportunities. Uh huh. And for that, the famous quote in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what is it? Strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and trouble. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Threats. Ah, threats. Uh -huh. Threats. Exactly. Yeah. Amenazas, right? SWAT. Uh, but Every... but um, I remember a few months ago, um, as a social media corn, corn threats, it's like a Twitter. So, so, uh, oh, that's, that, that's with a V as in David, no a T. Threads, uh, Elo. Threads. Ah, it's a threads. I'm sorry. <laughs> I confused. It's okay. Those are phonemas. It's okay. Threads. Yes, in a, it's a threads. In a it's threads. A, it sounds very similar, right? Threads. Yes. Uh -huh. Threads. Okay, sorry. <laughs> threads. Okay. Yeah. So, going back. This is basically like conducting a SWOT analysis on every stage, as I said, but talking about the training. Um, among the program that you're conducting, you should conduct this uh, uh, strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat analysis because in the end, the more you identify what you're doing good and what you're doing wrong, the better it will be. Because along the way, while you are working on it, if you identify weaknesses, you can correct, you can stop. And this is the importance of why when you are talking in English, I I actually like to stop you, you know, and, and say, hey, wait, repeat, wait, repeat until we make it because I don't like weaknesses. You know, I have to uh, avoid, I have to attack this when it says right on the spot, right on the spot. Opportunities. Everybody has opportunities. This training is half opportunities. And the threats, what will be a threat in this in this uh, course, for example, this training that you don't practice, that only me, I mean, it's only me talking, you will get bored eventually. So that's an example. Show value, evidence-based data showcases the value of training programs to stakeholders and decision makers. I'm sorry, uh, did everybody get the idea of the SWOT analysis? Everybody knows about it, yeah? 
that's that's yes yeah okay okay um uh, no idea no idea ivan okay uh daniel what's the meaning of the acronym in spanish es poda fortalezas debilidades y amenazas destrezas y amenazas no no fortalezas no. oh no 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 debilidades ya yeah. oportunidades debilidades y fortalezas oportunidades debilidades y amenazas right exactly yeah. <laughs> ah, I've, 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 ah, the, the foda, right? The famous foda. <laughs> it's very famous, yeah. yeah. Old yeah, school. Yeah. Old school, that's old school. I, I think the, the other questions. Uh what questions? Uh what the value uh Value, show value. No sé qué que no veo. I don't see. You cannot see. Okay. Uh, show value. Uh, yeah. Show value. Uh, so we're we're talking about the importance of measuring the training effects. You know what effects. Uh, so the third important uh, bullet point is that it evidenced based data showcases the value of training programs to stakeholders. So another point. This point refers to. Remember that we were preparing a presentation for the stakeholders, right? And you had to convince the stakeholders that your training was needed for the employees and all that. So this, uh, proving the effectiveness of your training will demonstrate that you were right. Show the value that this training um created on the employees. We will see it. We will continue talking about this in just a minute so you can have it clearer. Let me know if I'm talking too fast or you're getting lost. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, methods, and this is our key point element tonight. Methods for measuring training program effects. Service. Service gather feedback and assess knowledge and satisfaction levels of participants using well-designed service. What are you doing on the last day of class on this uh, course? You're conducting? The final survey. The final survey, right? I'm sorry, guys, about the noise. Um, hold on. Would you mind if I step up for a minute? Just one minute, okay? Thank you. I'm so sorry. Sorry, I had to move the beast because my, the back jar, I mean, sorry, the, yeah, the back jar is on my back, you know, and I had the dog on, on the yard, so he was crying because we have some visitors. Okay, so this is easy. How, how do you measure the training program effects? Uh, this is a tool, the service, observations observe behavior change, performance, and performance improvement before and after the training program. Again, was it effective? 
are they really applying what they learned in the training? Okay, as simple as that. If it was effective, you can measure them. You can observe your employees and say, this guy really understood and is applying what he learned or not. And again, pre and post assessments, compare participants' knowledge, skills, and attitudes before and after the program to evaluate the progress. And before, how were they behaving before the training? How were they performing before the training? And that became part of your needs assessment, remember? the needs assessment study that you conducted. That and uh, feasibility. Do you know what's feasibility, Carla? Everybody, Jamie? Do you know what's the meaning of feasibility? I can hear you, teacher, because it's raining a lot. Oh, okay. A feasibility study. Uh, a feasibility study is basically determining if, determining, I'm sorry, determining, determining if something will be uh, cost effective. And that's during the planning stage. Um, the needs assessment stage and in this topic, you have to conduct a feasibility study. Will it be, um, how can I say this? Effective, not if, but cost effective. Will it be cost effective to conduct this training if they really need it, you know? Will it improve the earnings of the company? So, and that's the pre-assessment or the needs assessment. Post assessment, so once you're done with the training, was it effective? What you do, you evaluate their performance again. The same areas that you evaluated at the beginning, you evaluate it again. This is logical, right? Okay. What are you going to consider after you have developed the training, after you have, I'm sorry, concluded the training? What are you going to consider to measure? These metrics are just an example knowledge retention measure how well participants retain information from the training program through post training assessments and follow-ups going back to the previous point behavior change assess if participants have implemented learned skills into their everyday work practices when i was at la cámara de comercio industrial del salvador studying um, they taught us the first thing that they taught us was how to dress, how to dress ourselves. Imagine that. Did you know that you don't have, uh, Daniel and Nelson, I know the guys, did you know that you don't have to wear white socks with formal dress, with formal dress coats? For me, never, never like the white socks. I only I only use white sock in case if I use a short. If you use shorts, shorts. with tennis. Mm -hmm. so, so in, 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 it's not it's not white socks. It's a how do you say punteras? How do you say more uh, more more small? Uh, I don't know how to say punteras. To be honest with you, maybe sport <laughs> sport socks. The sports socks, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's, it's, a, it's a little small than mm -hmm. the regular socks. Actually, you say toe caps. That could be toe it. Cups. Toe yeah. caps. Mm -hmm. Sounds uh, logical. Uh, yeah. Yes, I, I, I know is, and the problem is that with the, I'll say the moda, the, uh, the, the trend, the fashion, uh, the trend. Yeah. Trends of fashion because Michael Jackson. <laughs> yes, it's true. Oh my God! Yeah. This is this is the this is the 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 the, the how to say this is the the reason for the people use use Jeez. white white socks. <laughs> yeah, because, people wear because 
to Michael Giacom, it's a, it's a famous singer, uh, and she, she, he, he looks he, nice. He, he looked, he looked nice. He looked nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's but true, we, it's true, I never but, thought about that. But we, in, in the office, in your formal, uh, formal dress code? You know, Restaurants. No, no, no. <laughs> I, no. I, I, I have in, I have. Uh, actually, I have only uh, black and blue in my, my, my dress, my, my, my socks. Only in black and blue. Only. No, only no other, no yeah. other color. <laughs> same thing. Same thing with your belt, your shoes. Your exactly. belt and your shoes. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So this is just codes of conduct. I, I guess women women have a lot of codes of dre dressing codes, right? You must be combined all the time. What is something that you should not do, Jamie, when you dress, you know, as a woman? That, you know. Hi. What is something that you know as a woman that you don't have to do when you dress? Mm, they don't want uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't don't look fashion. <laughs> no, I don't something like that. Don't look so fashion. Okay. I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe your your lipstick, right? Lipstick is a code for women. You don't have to wear, I don't know, green, for example, blue yeah. lipstick. I mean, that wouldn't be okay for women. Okay. Anyways, so going back to the point. <laughs> That was the first thing that they taught us at La Cámara de Comercio e Industria de El Salvador. And they made sure after that training, the second day, they were reviewing, making sure that we were not wearing white socks. You couldn't be on informal. You couldn't be informal in the classes. That was important. Was the code, the dressing code to go to classes. Okay, performance improvement, evaluate if the training program has resulted in improved job performance or productivity. How do you do that? Again, evaluate. Let's look at some case studies uh, of successful measurement techniques. Uh, who can help me reading? Company X. Yes, teacher. Yep. Company X implemented retraining, assessment, tracked, tracked performance metrics, and conducted post training service to measure effective effectiveness. 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 <laughs> effectiveness. Effectiveness. Uh, effectiveness. Effectiveness. Mm -hmm. effectiveness. There you go. Effectiveness. 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 ¿Se acuerdan que les enseñé que el, la, todas palabras tienen estrés? Tienen una sílaba estresada, pero son muy pocas las que tienen doble sílaba estresada. So this is a, an example. And typically you have you have long words in this in these exceptions. Okay, effectiveness, um, improvement, no, 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 I can't remember the others. Okay, so long words, long words, effectiveness, good job. So the company X implemented pre-training assessments. They tracked the performance metrics, okay, and they conducted a post-training service, you know, some post-training service to measure effectiveness. That's what they did. Let's go with company Y. Someone else? Thank you, Daniel. Someone else? Joelman. 
scared to quiet tonight. All right. <clears throat> Let's go with company wine. <clears throat> company wine. Utilis, utilis. Re repeat with me. Utilized. Utilized. Uh -huh. Utilized. A combination of observation and follow up assessments. To identify behavior change, change, changes and performance improve, improvement improve the improvement 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 uh -huh. improvement good job cuando tengo una v y una e me meto en la cabeza que eso es mudo no hay pronunciación de la e effectiveness improvement drive Strive. And many others. Okay. That's very common. Utilized. Utilize. Utilized. Again. Utilize. Utilized. Okay. Good job. So they use the combination of observation and follow-up assessment to identify behavior changes and performance improvements. So they did follow what I was saying, you know, during the process. Are they increasing productivity? Okay, okay. And at the end, what's their behavior? I mean, are, are they happy? Were they achieving the goal of the training? Ali, will you help us with, uh, sorry, company Z? Adri, wake up. I didn't hear Adri. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Conducted a long term evaluation to measure sustained impact over time and refine future training programs. Thank you. Okay. The best investment you can do as a company after delivering a training is this continuous evaluation reinforcing the information if it was good if it was effective and you see a, an increase on the numbers on the earnings or whatever metric you're using why not give it continuation you know over time because this will always bring up opportunities of improvement again continuously doing a SWOT analysis, you know, as we started. That's key. That is key. It's important. Thing is, these aren't like logical things, right? What are the challenges when you're measuring training program effects? Remember, don't lose uh, this point of view. Uh, we're measuring the effects of the training, not just the training itself, but what effects it had on the, on the employees or in the on the um, participants. Data collection um, is difficult or um, a challenge. Number one is data collection because collecting reliable and comprehensive data can be difficult due to various factors, ver various, various factors, such as participant availability. Most part of the times participants don't want to continue you know they they are neglecting to conduct a survey and or they just do it because you know we have to do this survey right oh my god they become lazy if the training is very long especially they don't want to do that or they just do it just because you know okay so subject subjectivity 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 hmm Subjectividad, okay. Evaluating soft skills and behavioral changes can be subjective, requiring careful design and consistency in assessment methods. Uh, why? Because if you are assessing uh, the behavior of an employee before the training and at the end of the training with the same questions, 
Most people follow the same line of thought, especially if they were not paying attention, if the training was boring or not sustainable, you know, uh, important, if the, it wasn't so important. So they just simply will, you will get the same data. That's the problem. So it's not subjective. Okay. It's, it's not true. The data that you will collect will not be true. It will be just the same data. That's a problem. Time and resources. Measuring training program effects often requires significant time, resources, and expertise. Expertise, I'm sorry. Expertise. Which may pose challenges for organizations. And this is a common problem because as a company... You you try to take care. You try to take care of every single penny you spent. I mean, picture yourself as an owner of a company. It has been difficult to achieve what you have achieved. So you still have to take care of every penny that you spend on the company. And you don't see the use. If you don't see the use of doing something, most likely you will be neglecting to um, invest in that. Uh, many people, many employees, for example, I'm sorry, many company owners or employers don't see the benefit of training their employees on English. Did you find yourself in this problem? Did anybody find a problem trying to participate in this course, this English course? Did your boss tell you, no, 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 you're not going to English classes. No, 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 no. That's a waste of time. <gasps> no? <In> my case, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> because they use it. Most likely they use English. I guess. Okay. Yeah, that, that happens, you know. That happens a lot. They don't want to train their employees because they want they don't want them to to leave the company. They are afraid that they will leave the company. Okay, best practices for effective measurement and analysis. Somebody, Jamie, define clear goals. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. What uh, I understand the meaning of the word often. But what is exactly the translation? Of often? Yes. Usualmente? Because Perdón. I read in the in mm -hmm. the in the in yeah. the number three times in resources measure training programs effects often require usualmente requiere. A menudo, uh huh. Okay. Try. A menudo o usualmente. Con frecuencia, muchas cuando, veces. Cuando le preguntan a alguien, por ejemplo, como con qué tan periódico es algo, dicen how often. ¿Cuál es la frecuencia algo de algo? Ajá. Ajá. How often. Good job. That's right. They're asking you about the frequency of an activity. Okay. Very often. Not so often. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Any other word? Mm -mm. Yeah. I'll send you this presentation. I'll send you this presentation to the WhatsApp when we're over. Okay. Help me, uh, Jamie. Define clear goals. Define clear goals. Establish measurable objectives from the authors to guide the evaluation process. Repeat, measurable. 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 Okay. Huh? El estrés está en la primera sílaba. Measurable. Measurable. Ahora más rápido, measurable. Measurable. Yes, you got it. From the outset to guide the evaluation process. Outset is a synonym of start, beginning, okay? 
from the beginning to guide the evaluation process. So oh. remember the SMART goals, specific, measurable, attainable, reachable, time bound, right? SMART goals. That's what this is talking about, to find clear goals from the beginning. If your goals are not clear, you're not going to achieve anything. Les tengo una noticia hablando de eso. Um, me check really quick. Hacer una pequeña pausa. Un minuto porque se me gastó la saliva. Okay. Um, let's see. Como vos, Adriana. Man. We're supposed to finish. Se supone que vamos a terminar el 10 de... No, el 4 de octubre. El 4 de octubre. Ah, por cierto, el 15 de septiembre, eh, según el calendario, no hay clase. Right? Yeah. Friday. Yay! No uh, but, but there, But there is a God that sees everything. Pero hay un Dios que ve todo. ¿Qué? Es una broma, pero hay un Dios que todo lo veis. Ok. Okay. Why, uh, no, porque <laughs> se alegran cuando no hay clase. Come on, guys. Okay. No, why? We are sad. Oh, we are sad, dice Carla. Si usted se va a venir, usted el jueves se viene para San Salvador, Carla. Muy probablemente. Yes. Ok, sí. so, esa es una noticia. El 14 de, de septiembre, el 15 de septiembre, perdón, no hay clase. Um, viernes 15. Um, tomen nota. Segundo, ay, sí, 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 terminamos el 4 de octubre. Miren, yo voy a intentar hacer un sacrificio infrahumano porque los temas siguientes no son tan complejos como esto. O sea, no es tanto el, la planeación que tengo que hacer. De hecho, ya lo tengo. Hmm. Procuré, procuraré llegar hasta donde pueda. El día 21 de octubre me van a hacer, perdón, 21 de septiembre, ya el, la otra semana, right? September 21st es Thursday. El jueves 21 de, de septiembre en la mañana me van a hacer una cirugía en la mano derecha. So, dos cirugías. Entonces, I don't know. <ríe> no sé cómo me va a ir. De hecho, debería estar practicando ya con la mano izquierda. It's gonna be weird. Sí va a ser raro, no sé. Pero bueno, la doctora dice que tengo que entrar más pronto empiece a mover la mano mejor. Porque no, es, es ambulatoria, o sea, no es la gran cosa, pero sí voy a estar con la mano así, o sea, no sé, va a ser raro. Por lo menos el dedo índice tengo que mover. So, espero yo continuar hasta, hasta terminar, porque sí faltarían, let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sí, no, una semana prácticamente. Yeah, that's not good. But anyways, we'll see. We'll see. Es, 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 ya. Yeah? Uh, es un quiste sinovial oh. y, el, y dedo engatillado, le llaman. El dedo anular eh, está, oh. se, queda, se queda trabado. So, it's oh. very funny, actually. <laughs> en, la, en las mañanas amanezco con la mano hecho puño y todos los dedos se regresan menos este <laughs> y de ahí <laughs> it hurts <laughs> por eso le llaman dedo engatillado duele eso ok, so, pero primero Dios pues todo salga bien y yo les informo ok les aviso la fecha, la, la fecha del, del midterm ¿cuánto se dice? ¿De no, de no, de de la fecha de en el examen del medio midterm. Oh, oh, midterm, midterm es al final de esta semana, si no me equivoco. Yep, 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 yep. Let's see, so, uh, yeah, at the end of this week, okay. you need two, uh, después de la unidad dos, four questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, for Friday, this Friday. You have all day to do the test. Friday the 15th. Friday. <laughs> Todo Friday. el día para hacer el examen, don't worry. But okay. <laughs> but... I will start um, night shift at Thursday. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. 
Okay. On the Friday, I will sleep. <laughs> but I have all night of Friday. Friday night. Very good. Friday night. Uh, <laughs> okay. Just make sure you do it, guys. Help me make sure you do it. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, select appropriate metrics. Uh -huh. Let me continue. Choose metrics that align with program goals and capture the desired outcomes effectively. Something key on this, but not all teachers take this into consideration. Um, I don't know if I send you that video, but I learned like seven years ago that I cannot expect something specific from you. Okay, if I make you a question, I cannot expect you to give me the exact answer that I want. You will always have different results. Whatever you do, you will always have different results than the ones you expect. So the same thing happens um, when you select the metrics. I mean, what are you going to measure? If you are teaching people about first aids, which is a common training, you're not going to make questions about finances, right? Et cetera, and vice versa, vice versa. Let me continue. I, I have taken too long, maybe. Okay, use multiple evaluation methods. You have to combine service, assessments, observations, and interviews for comprehensive insights. What do you understand by comprehensive insights? Okay, synonyms, perspective, comprehensive per perspectives. And so the more methods you use for the evaluation, the better, more data you will gather, that's it. Regularly review and revise, review and revise, review and revise, review and revise all the time. Continuously assess and refine the evaluation methods to ensure accuracy, accuracy and relevance. So always be on top of your job, if you did a good job or not. And that's it for tonight about that presentation. So our next goal is for you to understand everything that I just explained. Tomorrow we will develop a rubric which is basically a way to assess your employees. I don't think we could conclude it tonight. Um, let's do it. Do you know what is a rubric? A what? No? No? Rubric, no. <laughs> rubric. <laughs> not, not rubric, rubric. <laughs> I know it sounds oh. the same. It's basically a chart, a chart on, for example, you can set the areas that you're going to uh, evaluate. Let me give you a clear example. There are, of course, there are simple, very simple rubrics. You know what? I, I couldn't share it with you right here, but I'll send it to your WhatsApp. This is a rubric. Of course, this is a very basic rubric. Rubric, rubric, okay? How well someone did something. How well someone is doing something. So on the next stage of this class, we're supposed to design a rubric based on the training that we delivered. It could be something very simple. What questions will you make? Let me hear you guys. What questions will you make if you already finished the training, any training? Based on what I have explained you. Okay, let me refresh. We talked about changes on behavior, changes on productivity. Okay. We have talked about finances for the company. All of these areas are affected by the training, right? At the end, in the end. And you need to measure how effective the training was affecting these areas. Behavior, what did I mention? Um, 
finances of the company, productivity, in other words. So what questions will you include on in this rubric, Nelson, to determine if the training was effective or not? Who fills out this rubric? The employee or the trainer? The trainer? Yes. Yes, as a trainer. You go evaluating and you ask the questions or you just go evaluating, right? Observing. So what questions will you include in general? Look at the options on the rubric. That's simple rubric. You have exceptional, average, and poor. Yo creo que por gusto he estado dando como una hora. Nadie me puso atención. Oh my God, the microphone is on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, really. You're evaluating. Maybe, uh -huh. maybe the employee used the time correctly. Hey, good. Time, time usage. Okay. Did the employee use the time effectively? Okay. Good. What else? Training effectiveness. Okay, let's go the other way around. Let's change the approach. Si algo no funciona, no cambies el plan, no cambies la meta, cambia el goal. Ah, jeez, perdón, no cambies el goal, cambia el... Oh, my God, change the plan, not the goal. Don't change... La change, meta. Don't change the goal, change the plan. That's the point. Si algo no te está funcionando, no cambies la meta, cambia... El plan, el approach. So there you have the presentation. Let's do something easier. Go through the presentation, find keywords that you don't understand. Okay. And then try to start with the rubric. Because the whole point is for you to create the rubric. At least four or five points that you will evaluate on someone. Lo voy a decir en español para que me entiendan mejor. Vamos a hacer esa rúbrica, pero revisen primero la presentación. Rapidín. Sobre qué está hablando este video feo. Y luego vamos a hacer la rúbrica fácilmente. Como que si tú estuvieras evaluando a alguien. Fíjense que yo hacía esto. Como gerente tenía que ir. Meterme al salón. Y... O desde la cámara, ¿no? Porque teníamos cámaras en los salones. Uy, papá, no. Se sentó. Mm. Mm -mm. Uy, dijo esto. Poor. Y ahí se acabó una media, ¿no? How, how, was, the, was the teacher effectively speaking, you know, like coherent when speaking? Eh, what average? Was the class sent, uh, student center oriented? Was the class student center oriented? So the teacher was not talking all the classes, just the students. 90%. And believe it or not, I used a stopwatch. So the teacher was talking. He stopped talking. He continued talking. He stopped talking. So I evaluated him five minutes and he spoke one minute and a half out of the five minutes. So I use uh, I use math. And what's the percentage of five minutes? 1.5. Okay. So, yeah. Makes sense, right? It's the way you evaluate someone. Okay. So, go through the presentation. Come up with at least three evaluation points that you will do. Okay? Good? Good. Okay. Jolban, wake up. Samantha, I don't know if you're there. Erika. Erika. Fatima, Lucy, Ruth, 
Let's participate, okay? okay. We're gonna be we're gonna be in three groups. Let's go. Nelson, Erica, let's go. Teacher, we have to create a rubric with an at least three types of questions. Yep. Yeah. Three areas. Three areas. Yes. It's, it's not. These are not questions. Remember, you're evaluating. You uh, like the, the, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay.
Hi. Hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. I do. Okay. Oh, here comes Carla. Okay. I was concerned because Carla was alone. I yeah. Didn't, I didn't notice. Okay. Go ahead. Hi, Carla. <laughs> Entendible, understandable. Like if the if the training is really, really understandable to the people. Okay. Teacher, um, with areas refer maybe uh, sales department. No. Uh, let me say it again. Um, we. You are evaluating the training results, the effectiveness. So what you're doing is going and observing the behavior of the employee, the productivity. So you're going to wonder, right? Is he using what he learned? OK, what is he using? OK. Mm, did he understand? every aspect of the training why because he's doing this 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 and that okay now these questions should be it's not questions observations should be more open more wide more general so oh, let me see okay oh simple tools implementation that's that could be one area tools implementation. Uh, okay. So, uh, so uh, the area is like a point that we ha we have to measure, like exceptional average, or poor. Uh, or poor. Uh huh. So, in your yes. in your presentation, Adriana, you 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 could definitely <laughs> do this like that. Okay. Uh, app um app knowledge, or uh -huh. yep yeah, yeah right. Or okay. exceptional average. Mm, what else? Creativity. Okay. Mm. Maybe uh, the numbers of changes uh, that we have to apply after the the the, the design. For example, uh, let me say this in, in Spanish. <laughs> Like the el número de ajustes que mm -hmm. multiplicar después. Right. If he is um time oh, how can I say this? Oh. Time reduction. Oh, yes. It's like when you when you learn something new, you know that you can use tasks. Mm -hmm. Uh, right shortcuts shortcuts mm. to get to an application or it's like when you stop using the mouse and you start <laughs> using the keyboard and instead of right clicking copying and pasting you do that with control co control c control v control x control v right okay so is he uh, applying the knowledge basically right that you taught them yeah okay very okay. very general questions okay but we have to give um, to this exercise and uh, context no 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 it's just you could base it on the on the presentation that you did okay. it, 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 this picture it, uh, imagínense que ustedes están evaluando o sea desde afuera observando okay. right okay mm -hmm. okay No, Lucy, please stay with me 10 minutes at the end. Okay. Okay, Thank teacher. You. Thank, Thank you. you. The first maybe use time efficiently. Okay. 
I'm not sure how to to write a fish. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think that we go like um, we can <laughs> like uh, define how we going to measure if this exceptional or poor. explain sorry como de hacer una rúbrica midiendo el efecto por medio de una evaluación previa y una posterior explicándole en la previa por ejemplo si sí, dando la información sobre las sucursales eh, para que guíe a los clientes, los productos que ofrecemos, los horarios de atención y si, si tiene una duda, si trata de evaluarla o no, resolverla, por ejemplo. Ahora, eh, todo eso es la explicación, porque usualmente esas rúbricas tienen un contexto que se utiliza internamente, ¿no? ¿Cuál sería la área que estaría evaluando? Que abarca todo eso. No sería... Eh, Knowledge. Yeah, knowledge is knowledge of a company. Uh -huh, knowledge, no. Process knowledge. Process knowledge. El, el conocimiento de los procesos. Todo lo que mencionó Ruth está dentro de esa casilla y ahí puede evaluar generalmente uh, poor, average, or excellent. Yeah? Eh, perfecto. Ok. Um, ok. Time efficiency. Eficiencia uh -huh. del tiempo, cómo está ocupando el tiempo el empleado después del training. Ajá. Antes del training y después del training. Perfecto. Súper bien. Ok. I'll be here if you need me. Ok.
Ok. Profesor Bait. <ríe> um, hay que hacer las preguntas en base a las medidas de si es, qué tanto conoces, si es. Entiendo, ¿verdad, Franja? Si es excepcional, media o deficiente. Uh -huh. Esas son las medidas que vamos a usar. Es que sí. quizá me faltó explicarles que no es, no son preguntas, sino que son áreas que ustedes como supervisores o entrenadores van a evaluar. Son unas tres áreas nada más que ustedes van a ir a evaluar, van a observar, van a hacer preguntas y en base a eso, ¿cuáles son los resultados? Ah, fue eficiente el, el entrenamiento. ¿Por qué? Porque en knowledge, en conocimiento, esta persona está eficiente, está Um, ¿Qué dije? Poor, average, or excellent. Uh -huh. Excellent performance. Entonces, ah, está haciendo todo con excelencia porque entendió el entrenamiento. Oh, ok. okay. Um, siguiente, lo observo. Está ocupando bien el tiempo. Los procesos los está haciendo más rápido. De hecho, ok. Incrementó. Antes era pobre, ahora medio. Eh. Porque hace una semana que recibió el entrenamiento y ahora es que, que mejorar todavía. Y así. ¿Ya? Tan, tan sencillo como sí. eso, o sea, entender que cada parte de la rúbrica es solamente una área que voy a evaluar. Quedó Kim. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. Para mí hoy es sábado porque mañana descanso. En teoría tengo libre de uno de mis trabajos. Ok, eh, bueno, yo sé que es un poco complejo el tema, pero vamos a procurar hacer bien esa rúbrica. Es que en teoría, miren, es algo tan sencillo como evaluar áreas de, de desempeño. Áreas de desempeño. Um, creo que eso se los han hecho en su empresa en algún momento. Y ni cuántos se han dado. Muy probablemente evaluar, ¿no? Qué tanto conoce la empresa, ¿Qué? cómo se dirige a sus compañeros. Bien, medio, pobre, ¿ok? Cómo se viste, hasta eso. So, vamos a abordar eso mañana y asegurar de hacerlo lo mejor que podamos, ¿ok? I'm staying with, oh, I forgot, oh, Lucy, with Lucy, ¿ok? Good night, everybody else. Adriana, José, Serena Durán. Present. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Erika Jazmín Martínez Carpio. Se durmió. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Iván Petrovic Guzmán Aquino. I was here. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Joelman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Joelman, wake up. <laughs> okay. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Carla, she got disconnected. Okay. Lucy Nathalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Nelson Antonio de Rodas Rosales. 
Present teacher. Good night. Ruth Isela Joaquín Flores. Present. Thank you, Ruth. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. She was here. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. She was here as well. Okay, good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Hey, teacher. Good night. Good night. Hi, teacher. Hello, Lucy. It's a pleasure to to talk to you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I know. I, I know. I know. It's a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Modeste aparte, dice. Today is, oh my God, today was our 10th conference. Oh my so, goodness. Oh yes. no, this is not you. Okay. So, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. How are you doing this day? Yeah, it's been a little bit busy because I spend all the morning in, at El Seguro Social. Oh my goodness. I know. Because I had to, um, I had to schedule the uh, surgery and all that. Uh, oh yes, I I was listening to you about your hand, I was your, your finger. I was listening to you about <laughs> your finger. Yeah, it's actually the wrist. The, the wrist, you know, this little thing. Ah, the wrist, sorry. And, yes. and yeah, but yeah, as well, the finger. See, this ah. finger is all. Yeah. Uh, so, Lucy, uh, since this is our first one on one session, our first yes. one on one session, so I always make three questions. It's very simple. The first yes. one what has been your experience with mm -hmm. learning English, you know? And number two, among this experience of trying to learn English, have you mm -hmm. ident have you identified what's your main area of improvement? Is it reading, mm -hmm. grammar, listening, or speaking? Um, and yes. The uh, and the last uh -huh. question. And the last question. What are you doing to improve? I mean, other than the two hours of class, are you doing something else to mm -hmm. learn more? Yes, well, well, for the first question about my experience to learning English, um, I'm in the program, English Cooperative program, about around one and a half year. And for me, it's a very, uh, very important to continue learning. And that is because in my job is, it's a lot of pressure about to um, handle the the English language. Or and the second question for me, it's a, a kind of difficult the trying to speak, trying to translate my Spanish thoughts <laughs> or thoughts? or ideas uh -huh. to 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 to, to 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 English. And sometimes I I think the grammar. It makes me feel weak about in, in my talking when okay. I try to speak. To speak, yes. But but you're doing it good. You can speak very well. But <laughs> not with the fluency. I I want to. I want to to talk, right? But, but you're doing it. <laughs> where, where do you work? Um, I work in a, um, it's like a, a terminal for, it's, um, what is the word, correct word, fuel, fuel terminal? Here what? is Sonsonate. Really? Yes. <laughs> what do you do? We, we receive, we receive the, the fuels, I mean, gas and diesel uh -huh, for, for for ship for, for ships and ships yes where where is that in san salvador no it's no. here in sonsonate sonsonate and we or we acajutla the, yes acajutla 
my god it's really hot right <laughs> yes a lot of but you can climb climate i don't know what is the correct word sorry um que se tiende a aclimatar uno con el tiempo you get used to it ah used to it repeat you get used to it you get you get used to it we saw that yesterday ah you get used to it sorry <laughs> <laughs> but we we receive the fuse for your car for all the um motors <laughs> vehicles mot motor motorcycles and we um, storage that fuel so that diesel gasoline in a very big tanks wait and we, then we store we store, store this fuel, sorry. This fuel? Uh -huh. we we store in the, in the tanks uh, metal, metal tanks and the, then are those big tanks big the big ones yes and then we uh, dispatch that fuel uh, with a Piping system, line piping. piping system, piping, sorry, piping lines to the. Um, Actually, I'm sorry, um, pipelines. Pipelines, pipe yes. Pipelines, uh huh. Yes, 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 true. Uh -huh. With the pipeline system for in the. I don't remember. Trucks, the trucks. Trucks, yes, the, 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 the trucks, like a. Uh, I don't remember the name, the the meaning or the word for cisternas, but me neither. <laughs> cisternas truck, yes, but and then uh, all these equipments and uh, store the the fuels for the gas stations, and that is the business. How long have you worked there? Um in this month I I spending around six years than that company. My God, that's a yeah. long time. Yeah, six years. Almost. Mm -hmm. So you like your job? Yes, I want. I uh, sorry, I like. I like my job. It's very um entertaining. Or <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you say tank. Yes. Or cisterna, you say tank. Ah, okay. Okay. Wow. So, do you need the English language at your job? A lot, of, yes. A lot. And a lot, yes. And mm. all the processes that we have, that is because the company is a, a U.S. company. And all of the standards and norms and procedures are, are from USA. And a lot of them are in English. Okay. Well, um, so you yeah. have your practice. Yeah, there you have your practice. Yes. Okay. But, well, I can tell you, you speak very well. At this point... Uh, the level of English that you have, little I have heard, mm -hmm. little I have heard, is good enough to work using English. Mm -hmm. uh, I can explain. I can explain some words. <laughs> yes, I mean you. You give yourself to understand. I mean, it's easy to understand you. That's that's easy. I have some coworkers that oh my god. <laughs> and I'm not talking about teachers. I mean, on the other job, on the call center yeah, jobs, yeah. they don't speak very well, and they mm -hmm. are, and they are there, you know, taking calls and working in something else. It's amazing. Yes, yes. So I know, I know you could, you could definitely get yes. one of these jobs. And my job is, is a, a sometimes I I need to make some calls to US for report some equipments and send some emails in English and read a lot of uh, documents in english and that for me Manuals. is very useful Manuals, sorry <laughs> yeah yes oh my and god it's, it's well, very useful, but... i'm here to help you whenever you need me you can text me through my whatsapp and thank you it. so much thank you for your time yeah. have a good night same to you hope you have a wonderful thank night Lucy. You. bye bye, bye.